amount of uh, injury area in the brain of uh, rats after experimental uh, ischemia. So this is a real effect which is also depend on the uh, concentration of carbon in use and all this data in combination uh, provide us, uh, to stimulate us to, to, to get some experiments, some, some tri trials on human beings. So really, uh, last nearly 10 years we have spent for transform our data from the area of the pure science into the area of the uh, application of carnosine as a, as a treatment for the human beings. And uh, we were lucky uh, to find some companies which were provide, uh, which supply us with, with different uh, sources of uh, carnosine, which were prepared carnosine as a, you know, tablets, and we use these tablets to, to treat uh, human beings under Parkinsonic, Parkinsonian uh, syndrome. So we have two more minutes. Uh, in order to understand, is it the same uh, data we can obtain from human beings as we can, that got from, uh, from, from the animals? Uh, it was 74 patients uh, tested before and after treatment, and the uh, uh, two groups of, of patients were divided into one uh, corresponding to the basic therapy and another where basic therapy was combined with carnosine in a dose of uh, two and a half gram a day. So what they found, uh, a decrease in the, uh, decrease in the protein carbonyls and serum, uh, statistically significant. Increasing uh, SOD activity compared to uh, pre uh, that one in the patients before treatment and those one which were uh, used only basic therapy. This is the data corresponding to basic therapy plus carnosine. And some, some correlation, rather good one, not brilliant, but good correlation between uh, decrement of neurological symptomatic and increment in SOD activity. So, uh, in numerical values, using uh, UPDRS scale, uh, before treatment, the group of patients was corresponding to 39 points of the neurological symptomatic which decreased to 30, 32 after basic treatment and to 25 when basic therapy was, was combined with carnosine. So it is very, a very clear effect which uh, can provide the positive action, uh, which, which reflects the positive action of carnosine on a number of, of different, uh, different abilities uh, of the patients after treatment. And uh, what's the bad? It was rather high dose. It is un understandable because uh, carnosine is a natural compound, and there are a number of enzymes transforming carnosine into into derivatives. Some uh, just cle cle providing the uh, hydrolysis of carnosine, for example, uh, because carnosinase is specific enzyme uh, which is very active in, in human being tissues. So the next step could be uh, usage of such a compounds. Uh, based on the carnosine structure, which may be more stable against carnosinase activity. And recently, these compounds were uh, synthesized as a combination of trolox and carnosine, and these two, two compounds were synthesized by a uh, Japanese uh, company, uh, which are chemicals, which uh, really uh, provide the first, uh, prepared the first drug uh, on the, based on, on carnosine. And these two compounds are really more stable against carnosinase activity. You know, this is a decrease in carnosine concentration with time when uh, serum carnosinase is used, but these uh, bars correspond to the stable uh, level of the concentration of uh, uh, STC and RTC, which are not realized by carnosinase. And at the same time, these two compounds may be even more effective than carnosine or trolox themselves uh, when uh, we have measured the uh, uh, accumulation of reactive oxygen species, so it might be, might be effective uh, pers perspective compounds for further uh, analysis, uh, perspective candidates for further analysis in terms of pharmaceutical point of view. Thank you.